Good morning, boys and girls. How are you doing? Morning. Good morning. All right, go ahead and stand up on your feet here in the auditorium and in your classrooms, and we're going to worship the Lord together. I'm so glad you're back from spring break. You got some nice sunshine. Let's worship the Lord this morning. Are you ready? Here we go. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where?
your seats right where you are. Turn on your listening ears. And Ms. Butler's going to introduce somebody to you this morning. drawing since he was three years old. Some of you are three years old and some of you are, are older than that. So he's been drawing for a long time. And he is going to tell you all about the job that God has given him to do. And I think you're going to like it. So this is Mr. Butler. Well, my name is Tad Butler, and uh, I'm one of many people, I'm going to try to get closer to the mic here, I'm one of many people who work on a show that you've, many of you probably know and have seen before called Superbook. How many of you have seen Superbook? Well, there's a few of you out there, uh, and uh, there's also another show that I work on, it's called uh, Gizmo Go, it's a new show that just, just started this past year. So. Uh, but I, I'm one of many people, because it takes a lot of people to create an animated show, and we all do different things. And my job, or one, the two jobs that I have, and what I'm going to be talking about today is specifically is a, a character designer. I'm also a storyboard artist, but a character designer is a, uh, when, whenever they write a story for the show, one of the first things that has to happen is we have to design all the pieces of the story, which includes the characters, the environments, the props. That's all the tools and things that they use. Um, so that's, that's, that's my job. I have to look at the story, read it, uh, find out who the character is, and then design what that character looks like. So the one you see up on the screen behind me here is uh, in a story called Rescued which came out recently. Some of you may have even seen it. Uh, but that's a, it's a young boy named Mateo. He lives in a village in South America. And uh, he, he, he ends up meeting Chris, Joy, and Gizmo, the lead characters in the story. And he and his family are having some trouble because there's a, a huge rainstorm that sweeps in to the area where they live. And it causes flooding and mudslides, and, and their home becomes in trouble. So God uses Chris and uh, Joy and Gizmo to help them in that, that time of emergency right there. That's what I want to talk about now. And that's what this particular show is all about. Uh, but first, let me show you a little, a few more character designs. Now, when I, when I read the story, I have to design all the characters that are part of that story. Mateo was one of them. But he also has a, a father, which you see there, and a grandfather, and his mother, which are also characters that are part of that story. Now, interesting enough, uh, the, the, the mother and the father are modeled after some friends of mine. Uh, when, you, when you're working on a show like that, you have to draw inspiration from somewhere, so sometimes it's very often it's drawn from life. So uh, Daisy's actually a co-worker, so I made this look like her, uh, the mother looked like her, and her husband looked like her husband, Rick. So. And then the grandfather, I just uh, pulled some, some reference from other places. But so that's that's what a character designer does. Uh, now, when once the show is done, then we have to come up with a cover for it. And this is the this is the finished product right here. But so that they'll know what's put on the cover, you have to design that too, and that's part of what I do as well. But. Uh, What the show is all about is the fact that we're, we're living in a sin-cursed world, right? Uh, God tells us that in the Bible, that because Adam and Eve sinned, who are actually our ancestors, we all come from them, um, God, this, this curse of sin and death has, has come on the whole world. So all the bad things that you see happening in the world, things like the coronavirus and all the other terrible things, are, are because of that. 
there are consequences of man's sin, but God does, you know, has rescued us from that. And that's what uh, this the show is about in particular. Uh, so it's a sin-cursed world full of danger and it can be very scary, but God does not, does not want us to live in fear because he is with us to protect us and to guide us through all that scary stuff. Now, first of all, he gave us the law, right? You guys have heard the Ten Commandments, probably, right? You've studied those or soon will if you haven't already. But anyway, that's what's called the law. He gave us that. And that was, those are kind of like the, the pool rules. Do you guys go to the swimming pool in the summertime? You do? Okay. Well, you know, when you go to the pool, there's a, a usually a sign up there with rules on it. And those rules are there that tells you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And that's so you can have a safe and enjoyable experience at the pool, right? To keep you safe, to protect you is really what those rules are for. Well, that's why God gave us the law, is to protect us so that we could have life and have a good life. But he knew even when he gave us the law that we were going to break it. And so he already had a plan to, to save us from the consequences of breaking his law. It's kind of like at the pool. One of the rules they have there is don't dive off the side, right? Uh, they tell you specifically don't know diving. Well, but sometimes somebody will break a rule and they wind up diving and they hit their head on the bottom and then they're drowning. Well, the, 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 the rules, the sign with the rules on it aren't gonna jump off the fence and jump in and save them, right? You need a, a lifeguard, right? A lifeguard is the one who saves you and that's who Jesus is. Jesus is our lifeguard. God knew we would break the rules, we would break the law, and then we would wind up suffering the consequences for that. But he already had a, a lifeguard, Jesus, our Savior, to come and save us. And so that's what we need to remember when times of trouble come, is that, that God will protect us and guide us through those scary times. So I have a couple of scripture verses to share with you, and I'm going to play a little video here. Um, in Psalm 46, 1 and 2, it says that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. So we don't have to be afraid because we know we have God on our side. And also, in Psalm 121, this is what we read. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. So God made us that promise. And one thing we know about God is he always keeps his promise. So he said that he's going to protect you. And then when trouble comes, he'll be there to rescue, rescue you. So and that's what this song is all about. Let's see. Um, can, do I play that song or do yeah. you? Click two times. Hit it two times? Once, and then once to start it.
there you go. So what did they do when there was trouble? What can you do when there's trouble? What did Chris and Joy and their friend Mateo do? They say it again. I heard, thought I heard somebody say it. They pray, right? What should you do when trouble comes? Pray. Because you can't do anything about it, can you? But we know somebody who can. Who's that? God. Yes, Jesus. He can absolutely take care of any problem that you have. He is more than able. And he said, he's told us to come to him when there's trouble, to call on him, and he will deliver us from it. He will rescue us. He will be our deliverer. So that's my message to you, boys and girls. And uh, I hope when you get a chance, you'll get to watch the rest of that episode, Rescue. It's a good story. So, And Gizmo uh, Go, too. Well, thank you guys for having me here today. And uh, is it, should, I, should I close the prayer? Would that be okay? Speaking of praying, let's do that now, okay? Will you guys bow your heads and pray with me? Let's do that. Dear Lord, thank you so much for sending Jesus to save us, Lord, uh, to rescue us, to be our lifeguard, to save us from our sins. And uh, we thank you for that. And not only that, that he save us, but you've given us eternal life with you through him. And that when time here and now in this time that we're in, when trouble comes, we know we have the, the comfort of knowing that uh, you will be with us. You'll carry us through that time where you'll deliver us from it and uh, that you'll comfort us. And we thank you for that, Lord. Pray that we can remember that as we go out into the day and walk in confidence knowing that you're with us. And we thank you, Lord. We ask you to be with us throughout the rest of this day and lead us through it and help us to be a light for you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. is our savior he's our rescuer like our lifeguard and when we need help i'm glad he reminded you that all we have to do is pray we can talk to the lord any time of day anywhere you are i so appreciate mr butler um answering the call to the lord that he uses his talents to share the story of the bible with all of us i'm so thankful for mr butler and the rest of his team that they're just sharing the love of the lord in their artwork that they do and so you guys can do that too you can draw pictures that show people what you think about God's love. You think you could do that? And we can sing. That's another way to share God's love. I'm so appreciative that we can use our talents that way. I hope you guys have a great week. Come back one more time.